Well, DHL supply chain has been in India for 17 years, and we announced today that we're investing an additional 100 million euros in our business here, primarily in warehousing, uh, domestic transport distribution, technology, and particularly the development of our people. The weakest link of the chain uh, is the one that will obviously uh, impact the service level. So we're investing in our warehousing capacity, uh, both the ability to cater for growth, but also to cater uh, for future growth and to cater for what could be a post-GST environment, although these investments are around the demands that our customers have today, but allow us to factor in growth going forward. Uh, we're also investing in domestic distribution uh, because obviously the geographic expanse of India uh, means that our customers are moving product all around India. But the key for us is two, twofold. One is the visibility we want to give our customers, hence the investment in our technology and our control towers so our customers can see where their product is and they can respond to their customers about the availability of that product. Likewise, when it comes to inbound to manufacturing and they're looking for those supplies to feed those production lines, we can give them visibility. And the, the fourth thing is around the investment in our people. Having the skill sets to develop uh, global uh, sophisticated solutions, leveraging the knowledge that we have globally, but more importantly, uh, bringing that into an Indian context because there are unique attributes, there are unique challenges in this marketplace. So we can bring in those global skill sets and those global solutions, but adopting them to the needs of our clients on a local basis. There have been many studies and we certainly participate in a lot of studies and we're doing a lot of work for our customers around what a post-GST environment looks like. If we look at other markets that have deregulated and changed uh, their, their GST or their local VAT environments, what we will see is a consolidation. Uh, so rather than having to operate in every state, uh, companies will consolidate into a uh, smaller uh, number of, of states but much larger footprints, hence the investment that we're announcing today in our uh, warehousing facilities. Those facilities have expanded so even in a post-GST environment, we'll already have built in the capacity to cater for our customers' needs.